so welcome back again so let us look at question number 3 uh, a b r non zero matrix put the correct statements uh, pick the correct statements below if a square equal to 0 then i2 minus 5 all to the power 5 equal to 0 so yes a is not equal to 0 let us check the option a first a square equal to 0 but a is not equal to 0 then i2 minus a whole to the power 5 is equal to 0 or not <coughs> but a square equal to 0 so it is so x square is an annihilating 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 polynomial part a is in m two r hence hence the characteristic polynomial of a in x is equal to x square so so a has this jordan ka a is equal a is similar to this matrix a is similar to this matrix so now uh, we can prove this 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 is a very small proof so since a is not equal to 0 that means there exist a v in r2 shows that a v is not equal to 0 now let us look at this this set we claim that uh, this is uh, linearly independent. How uh, suppose lambda one b plus lambda two a v is equal to zero. That means now we apply a from both sides. Then we get that lambda one a v plus this is zero. So this is zero. But a v is not equal to zero, implying lambda one equal to zero. So again we put lambda equal, lambda one equal to zero a v is non zero so lambda 2 is equal to 0 so lambda 2 equal to 0 meaning that a v is a v and a v is a basis now a with respect to this basis if we name it b it is equal to 0 1 0 0 so a is equivalent to that matrix or uh, actually I must be careful it is the other way around if I take a v and v then it is giving, going to give me uh, this 0 0 1 0 metric the so so this so there exist this matrix p equal to a v and v such that p inverse a p this is equal to 0 1 0 0 so now i 2 minus a uh, p inverse a uh, this times p this is equal to i2 minus p inverse a b but this you look at this is going to be this is going to be minus 1 minus 1 0 1 so so sorry so, so it's not that guy it is this guy so this is 1 minus 1 0 1 
and i2 minus a this is equal to p1 minus 1 0 1 p inverse. Now, if you look at this determinant of i2 minus a this is equal to date of p times date of this matrix and date of p inverse, but date of p and date of p inverse is uh, uh, this is equal to one. So the so this this is actually one, and also this determinant is equal to one. So everything is equal to one. So but if 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 at all i two minus a all to the power five, this is equal to zero. That would mean determinant of i2 minus a all to the power 5 this will be equal to 0 but that means determinant of i2 minus a all to the power 5 this is equal to 0 and that means determinant of i2 minus a this is equal to 0 a contradiction since we have just shown that this is equal to 1. Uh, so option a is wrong. Now we says that if a t equal to 0 then de, uh, then i 2 minus a is invertible. We have shown that uh, determinant of i 2 minus a this is equal to 1. Hence option b is correct. Option b is correct because uh, determinant of i 2 minus a this is equal to 1 implying that i 2 minus a is invertible. So, so option B is correct. Now option C. If a cube equal to zero, then a square equal to zero. Now C says that a cube equal to zero. So p x equal to x cube is an annihilating polynomial like an analytic polynomial polynomial of a so so minimum minimal polynomial of a in x divide x cube so there are so there are two choices so there are two choices uh, one is x and two x cube dip, uh, x square because the because the matrix is two cross two so the <coughs> minimal polynomial can have at most degree two so uh, we have only choices x and x square but in both the cases in both the cases in both the cases the characteristic polynomial of uh, or I don't even need the characteristic polynomial but in both the cases we have that x square equal to 0 because minimal polynomial actually annihilates uh, the uh, it's an anni annihilating polynomial so uh, in both the cases we have x square equal to 0. So, option c is correct. Now, let us again go back to uh, the last question we see which is if a square equal to a cube and uh, it is not equal to 0 then a is invertible. Uh, so, option d says, so option d says a square equal to a cube this is not equal to 0. Now look now if uh, a equal to 0 0 0 1 then a square equal to a equal to a cube 
and this is not equal to zero. But date a is equal to zero, so a is not invertible. But more important fact is how did I get hold of such matrix A? The matrix A is inspired by this since we have A squared equal to A cube that means A squared into 1 minus A this is equal to 0. So I looked at if I have uh, if I had eigenvalues of A as 0 and 1 then although the matrix is not equal to 0 and uh, 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 but we, uh, we can have determinant equal to 0 by just taking this projection matrix on the second coordinate. One can also look at this matrix that will also do the same.